What's up, everyone? Shiraz Oni, back from the dead. Um, I had college, you know, I was moving to America back again for school, so, you know, I couldn't do tutorials for a while, but now I'm back. So this is how it is. Um, today's tutorial is going to be uh, some advanced tips and tricks and some knowledge on the 808s, how to use them. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to pick a sample and I already chose the sample, which is basically this sample right here. It's from the Prime Loops Ultimate Trap Producer. Normally, when I pick a sample, I pick anything between F, between the key of F and the key of G. The reason being this is because if you guys actually look at the frequencies, um, if you guys look here, these are the frequencies. Um, Human hearing, we could hear from 20 to 20,000, but um, actually the lower limits of it, like 20 to 40, we can't actually hear it that well. So the from 40 on upwards is what we can hear well, or we could feel, you know? We register it as a bass frequency. If, if you look right here, E is the lowest you could go, 41.20. And that's a rarity, like playing with, you know, crossing that line of death. So if you guys see the lowest frequency you could go is between 43, which is F right here to G. If you guys go higher, the oomph, you know, the bassiness of the 808 disappears. So if you look at a lot of trap music, it's between F and G. Okay. So I picked that. Uh, I renamed it, I assigned it to a track, and the first thing we're going to do is tune it. Tune, tune. So... And of course, you guys could use any tuner, it doesn't matter. This tuner, I use C tuner, it's just freebie, that's why I use it. Set the pitch to one. The lift fall, falls right on the zero set. Like I told you guys before though, like plus or minus five cents is, is not bad. So, okay, so I got it down. What well, another thing we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go into the um, the channel settings, I guess the sample settings. And then we're gonna set this polyphony thing to one. And the reason being is so that only one note could play at a time. You don't want chords ringing out on your bass. sounds horrible so then we're gonna turn this portamento thing on which lets us slide from one note to the other I'm gonna automate this later so check that out all right so we could get our tuner away let's put down a basic pattern put up the tempo a little bit all right so when I play C5 right here, it should be G right now. Yeah. make it really short make it have fast attack So 
I'm gonna get this pattern over here. Boom, pattern one. Okay, and like I said, I'm gonna automate this and then you guys will have to figure out why. All right. So when I play it, hear that if I don't have it it sounds like this if I have it it takes a longer time to slide down boom Here we're gonna do the same thing again so that it has a little slide to it, slide attack. So we have to EQ this, so boom. Like I always say in my tutorials, you guys gotta have this, you know, type to high pass, otherwise it doesn't cut out everything. have it to B instead because um, the lower G is too low. Another thing I'm going to do here is add some distortion to it. The reason being is because um, the 808 you can't hear it that well without the higher harmonics being um, being uh, distorted. So just take a wave shaper. Wave shaper, like I told you guys before, is a form of distortion. It's a form of synthesizer too. It's like a form of synthesizer. This the distortion okay just mess around with it okay um all right so all right this is pretty much the gist of it you guys got this um see you guys next time peace